Accessing the preferences of Perfect Effects 9 is easy. First, you'll want to make sure that you have an image open inside Effects. Once you do, go up to the Perfect Effects 9 drop down menu and scroll down to Preferences. There are three different tabs, and in the first one is your Working Color Space option. Anytime that you open a new file that has no color space defined, it will pull from this drop down menu. You can open it up and you can select a different option depending on your preferences. You also have adjustments for things like scrolling options, you can change your preview background color, and you can even go in and adjust the language if you need to. The second tab is your plugins tab. At the top, you'll see that there's a smart photo section. Anytime that a Photoshop file has been opened from Lightroom or Aperture, you have the option of changing whether you would like the program to ask whether you'd like to edit a smart photo or a normal photo. If you open up this drop down menu, you'll also be able to choose that every time you open a Photoshop file, you always want it to be a smart photo or a normal photo. You can choose whichever one will work best for you. Down below is the Lightroom section. When you go through the Lightroom plugin extras menu, it will create a copy of a RAW, TIFF, or JPEG file and pull from this information. You can change things like file type, color space, and bit depth down here. The last tab will be your performance tab. The memory usage and the RAM usage should stay up around 80% to make sure that the effects program runs as best as it can anytime that it's open. Once you're done in your preferences, go ahead and click OK, and now you can edit your image.